Hey YouTubers and RV fans, so I'm going to show you a little bit of a water leak here. Um, kind of sucks, it's right here in the corner. And then I've got another one over here, which is one that was already there, but had been repaired and is now leaking again. So I have to get back on the roof and do some sealing to figure out where this leak's coming from, but I think it's coming from the front cap, obviously. Water follows the path of least resistance, so here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna get up on this ladder, and I'm gonna show you. The end cap actually looks okay. Um, I mean, it, it needs to be redone, obviously, but I actually resealed all this already. And you can see the decor in there is pretty, pretty thick. But let me show you where I really think the culprit is. I think the culprit's right here, truthfully. I think it's these damn lights. Some of the more experienced RVers here Look at that, it's all wet. Some of the more experienced RVers here said that this is the usually the first place on these rigs where the leak starts. And look at that, sure is. So I'm looking up here, the rest of the roof really looks pretty good. Um, I've been up on the roof and really haven't seen any issues and um, there's been no real problems with anything else. My, uh, my repair on the uh, Siphon 360 vent has been really good and that's worked well. It's interesting you see all the rooftops of all the rigs here and mine looks pretty damn good <laughs> comparison to some of them. All right, I'll get back with you. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and flux seal those areas and then I'm going to die core them and uh, hope for the best. You know, in lower Alabama, there's lots of rain, so I'm hoping that that's going to take care of the issue. Um, I'm going to show you around here. You can see it's pretty ugly out still, and uh, we're headed to get some pretty, pretty big thunderstorms come up here shortly, so, and into tomorrow. Anyway, um, just so you know. I think uh, that may be the problem. Okay, so this is a after Easter update. Um, I did some sealant on the uh, front cap of the RV and unfortunately it continues to leak. So I'm going to try something new. I bought some of this leak stopper rubber flex leak repair that I'm going to use on the front cap as a temporary fix until the weather changes a little bit and I can get the, uh, the leak dried out some more, but hopefully this will take care of it for right now. I'll let you know. Okay, so I'm up on the roof and I did spray that flex seal I know it's kind of sloppy but I did spray this flex seal along the seam here and I'm gonna wait for just a second and then give it another coat and uh, then I'm gonna get down and I'm gonna do the side over here so we'll see
I got on the roof and I did the flex bond on the entire front cap and then I had some of this Eterna bond um, double sticky putty and then I puttied the sides where there were some cracks with the Eterna bond and then I went over that with the flex seal as well so I don't know the uh, other part was the um, the windshield Anyway, there was the, the, the black piece that goes over the windshield. <laughs> ah! So that was coming off too, and that was a, a point of water penetration. So I went ahead and did the double sticky Eterna bond on that, so you can't really see it, but it sealed it very nicely. So that's all sealed. So the next scheduled rain here in Lower Alabama isn't until Wednesday, so we'll see. And then I think if the leak is resolved, or the leaks, there's two of them in the front, if they're both resolved, then I can get up there and start cleaning up, um, clean up the roof, um, the ceiling in here, so that it doesn't get all stained and ugly. That one side is already stained and ugly. So, anyway, that's that's what I know. If anybody has any suggestions out there in YouTube land and RVer land of uh, most common water penetrations in a Winnebago sightseer, hit me up. But I think I think I may have gotten it this time. I hope so. We've had a lot of torrential rain. And the leak is obviously pretty small, so hopefully um, I sealed wherever the water was coming in. There's no place else to seal. So anyway, thanks so much for hanging out with me. Um, thanks for watching the video. Thumbs up if you like it. I know I'll have people let a thumbs down. That's fine. Um, and subscribe. All right, have a great day.